ball should have been nailed to the joist, isn't it? Ideally, it would have been, it have been. nailed to it, but Every it wasn't. You've got to do it too. Okay. That's one way to get rid of it. We have a new loft hatch. That was a bit messy. Always is, mate. Not for it. Can't avoid it. Well, add this, add this half away. Half away, yeah? <laughs> it's good. It's where we wanted it. Put some carpet protection if we would know that would happen, eh? Yeah, never mind. So the builders have gone. I don't know if you can see that big bit there that's the new hole in the roof now the velux window we're going to have is actually going to be more like here but this hatch here that we've just cut is simply an access hatch i've got a mess all over my face where the ceiling fell fell in on me so what we're doing now <clears throat> what i'm doing because the builders have gone for the day it's a beautiful day in September, 20th of September, and the sun is shining, it's lovely and hot. What I'm doing here is going back up into the roof to install this roof ladder, or this loft hatch. And I'm going to show you how to do it, because it's quite a handy thing to know how to do. I've moved it from the old place, taken it apart, moved it from the old place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install one and it gives me an opportunity to upgrade the screws because the screws they had used were horrible old-fashioned flathead ones which if you've done any screwing with an impact driver you will know these are a pain in the ass because they wobble and all the rest of it so now I can put some normal Phillips head, posi head, whatever you want to call it, screw. And I've also made a hatch plate for this as well. Let me turn this around. This is the hatch that we cut out. It was quite hilarious actually that I was in there with a big industrial dust hoover and they were cutting along here with a multi cutter and I was hoovering from the other side and they got to the last little corner and the whole ceiling just fell in and dust went everywhere all the way down there so a complete waste of time and that hence being completely covered in muck so these are the old screws they're pretty much useless um, this is the little mechanism this is the the bit that slides that's a kind of rubber very hard rubber that slides along here as it sits on the edge there and this then pivots and allows the ladder to store up in this area here when it's collapsed down and then pivot down there like that now you don't want to fit these in until they're on the ladder because you don't know how far apart they need to be without measuring it exactly and that's a bit of a faff so what you're better off doing is putting them on the ladder and then once they're on the ladder setting them both on and getting them lined up so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the camera up now and show you how to do that. So the reason I started this is because this one here has a bit of grip on it and holds. The one on this side, it has a stop at the end here of the ladder. This is the ladder, the ladder is upside down. Let me see if I can show you. You would walk up it on that side, that's the back of it. And I put them both on and then this one promptly slid straight off down through the hole into the house. And so I had to go down and retrieve it. So being very very careful of this hole here what I need to do is slide that you slide that onto there like that and run it all the way up to the top and to the top okay what I will then do pick the ladder up flip it over to the way that it's going to be oriented and lower it down through the hole into the house being very careful that these slippy little bits don't don't just look, if I let go of that it just slides straight down so I need to need to try and keep a hold of them because like I said there's no end stop on them so I'm lowering that down into the house doing it one-handed with the camera is not as easy but obviously you won't have that problem because you've watched the tutorial you don't need to film the tutorial. 
So now all I need to do is make sure that that little bracket there is seated perfectly on here. And same with that one. I'll line those up and show you where I get to. So now the question is how far over do we want the ladder? Do we want it central? I mean, it doesn't really make too much difference, to be honest. Obviously, I could line it up so it's over here, but then it's tight up against this side here. So what I might do is I might just split the difference and leave it, leave it where it is here in the middle. Um, this has two screws here and then a third screw just under there going in that way. So I'll do these two first, zip those in, then I'll probably pull the ladder up and get access to the third one in the back there. Then what I can do is install the, the hatch that goes in, in here. So I've screwed those ones in, got these here. These are kind of self-tapping screws so you don't have to worry so much about uh, piloting them. But if you don't have a magnetic bit it can be a bit of a faff. Done, two in, sturdy as. The ladder is there, sturdy, secure, in place. Easy to walk up, nice big hole, mind your head. Now what I'm gonna do is knock some supports in here, these two by fours there, and that one is gonna go in here, and they will act as a brace for that chipboard, which is gonna sit within this hole You'll see that coming in a second. Just hammered this in flush and level roughly, screwed it in, and you'll see here there's a bit of a lip. Not massive, but a lip there, which the 18mm uh, OSB will hopefully recess into quite nicely. So just got to do the same again on the other side. See, I've got my lines drawn there, ready to show where the OSB needs to go. And then we're good to crack on. I need to think of a way to stop all of this from falling out every time we open and close the loft hatch. This one's not too bad, but that one is horrible. And my wife just had a great idea and said, well, all of this area is coming out anyway for the staircase later, so it doesn't matter if it's ugly, just use gaffer tape, which I think is genius. So I'm literally just gonna gaffer all of that up. And then that is a very, very snug fit. I think I might have to trim off the edges a little bit, especially if the gaffer's there, because that can kind of help helps kind of bridge some of the gap and, and seal up the gap a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. All gaffered up. Fairly neat job, but actually it doesn't matter. That kind of holds all the dust in, all the dirt. That's not coming, not coming out there. Kids are back from school. And of course they're hungry. Right, now to cover it up. So I've got the loft hatch bit here. It is a little bit too big, sorry about the lighting. Sunshine, it's a little bit too big. So I have to take it down to the workshop to trim it down on both sides. I'm gonna basically stick it on the table saw and cut down both length and width, only by a centimeter or so, not, not by much. This is very, uh, very Queen-esque lighting, isn't it? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut that down. And I need to tidy up the workshop as well. Right, I'll trim this down and I'll come back. So, short side, gone. Long side, gone. Now the moment of truth. That off. Let's grab one of these. Let's see. It doesn't need to be 100% square because the hole is not 100% square, but let's still see. So 107 and a bit. 107 and a bit. 
That's pretty good. It's all good. Right. That's off. Grab that. That's off. See you up there. Forgot. Hinges. These will do it because they've got a nice big area of bend. They're a little bit stiff, but that's okay. The door is very heavy to attach them. Right, hinges are here. What I've had to do is get some bolts with some nuts and washers on them because this is quite heavy OSB and I don't know whether it would be strong enough to just be in there with screws and I don't have any that are thick enough because it's not being screwed into anything, the screw head would poke out and if I'm going to have something poke out I'd rather it be a washer and a nut and know that it's very very strong than a screw which is sharp and I know I know it will be near the ceiling but I just I would rather have two nuts on each and then I can screw these other three up into the wall that will be sturdy enough I think so I'm gonna start lining that up I'll check this for fit now and then I'll check back in with you the board fits bit of a gap but not the end of the world so I need to line up the hinges up on here so that what I want it to do is swing down and away from me like that. That's the plan. Here's the logic. That hinge sits up on there and only ever really sits at 90 degrees because the board is flat on the ceiling. And then when it opens up, obviously I've got three screws up in here holding it in place. And then it swings open and pivots like that. And these nuts and bolts just kind of stick out that, that way there. So all I need to do is sit these, sit that on there. So I'll draw some pilot holes and seat it on. Right, so what I've done is I have put the bolts on here. They're very solid. So they've got washers and bolts in place. And these are fairly sturdy, very heavy. I actually had to get bigger ones and I'll show you why now. These smaller plates that I had used were fine but they didn't reach up in there enough. They were actually just screwing like at that point and I need them up there. So got some bigger ones from the workshop and I've put them in and now this is gonna be a two man job because my brother-in-law Barry is here to help me. Say hi Barry. So I'm just gonna put this on pause while I hold this in place and then he's gonna screw it from above, which is a hell of a lot easier. This is it. Works like a charm. Nice, so now all we need to do is attach this this little latch mechanism here, which is quite simple. It's just a simple click in, click out latch. All you do is push the latch up a little bit and it will detach it on here, auto latch. thing we've done is we've attached the latch there to that little one there. So now that latches and holds and then push it and it swings and you can grab the ladder. Woohoo!